Good morning and welcome to this week's Your Soul Matters broadcast. This broadcast is brought to you by the House of Deliverance Church. I'm your host, Tatiana Cody. It is our hope that this broadcast and the message you're about to hear will inspire you, encourage you, and convince you that your soul truly does matter. It matters to God. It matters to us here at the House of Deliverance Church, and we hope that it matters to you. Let's welcome our speaker this morning, Evangelist Nicole Burke. Praise the Lord, and good morning for the ones that's watching us this morning. Today I read into your hearing coming from Exodus chapter 34, 29, 34. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand. When he came down from the mountain, mountain, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Aaron, Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the ruler of the congregation returned to him, and Moses talked with them. And afterwards, all the children of Israel came nigh, and he gave them in the commandments all that the Lord has spoken with him on Mount Sinai. And till Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake into the children of Israel that which he was commanded. My scripture focus today is, and till Moses have done speaking with them, and he put the veil on his face. I'm going to say it again. And till Moses have done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. My title today will be Behind the Veil. Today, when I hear the word veil, I immediately think about a white dress worn to symbolize chastity with a white veil follow suit a material wood over the face for concealment of color, for its protection, for its disguising. And also, if you think about the many religions seen as a symbol of a reverence of a woman that cover her head. The scripture that was read into your hearing, God uses Moses to get the message out to his people, the word of the covenant of the Ten Commandments. But in the midst of sharing this information to Aaron and all the children of Israel, they saw the skin of his face. Mm. The people was afraid to come near him. It is clear the people was motive was fear. They was fearful because Moses put a veil on his face because of that. If Moses had not put this veil upon his face, and went about his daily business, it would have put a whole scare to the people. So because of that, he put a veil over his face. He only took the veil off when he was directly present with God and directly giving the Israelite the word that God has given him. It is amazing when the truth hits and it hits us and we are not ready for the truth. The truth. To shine on us is a tendency for us. We want to back away when it's not. We, we, we want to back away from it because the uh, facing of the truth, it bothers us. Yeah. We don't want to see the light. Right. So we back away. It's like when you, 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 you cheat on your significant other and you get busted, right? Mm -hmm. And they stare you right in the face. Mm -hmm. Right as day. Yeah. And there's no running. There's no hiding because there's no shade to cover you up. Yeah. It's like you're in an open field with no gloves mm -hmm. to catch the ball. Oh. You're being reminded of the ugly and disgusted and being a liar, a cheater, manipulator, selfish, prideful. Mm. Do I need to go on? Yeah. Shameful, embarrassed of your sins and action. Yeah. I believe you get the picture. I believe that is how the children of Israel felt like when they looked at Moses' face as if they could not stand the fire. 
It was a reality check. God is real and he's not playing. Can you imagine seeing something that is so supernatural that you have not seen in your life? That's mind blowing. Knowing it was God the driving force behind this will. That is how the Israelite felt when they saw Moses. They knew he had been with God. And it was terrifying for them to face their true meaning. Not worthy to come near. And that means not coming close to the Lord. It made them think about before I gave my life. It, it, it made me think about before I gave my life to God. That I didn't want to hear nothing for his bad news. And according to my eyes, that was dealing with living right. The example I give before you is that I didn't want to uh, hear about stop drinking and stop clubbing and stop the fornication and stop hanging out with the wrong crowd and stop gambling, stop smoking, even though I didn't smoke, but it was a reminder that this is a lifestyle of sin mm, that came from my step-grandmother. See, my step-grandmother, she was a saved, sanctified, filled with a Holy Ghost. She had this glow about her when she spoke about God. When I look back over my life, she was trying to show me that I was running from what was behind the veil. Right. She tried to tell me to stop looking into what the world offered, but to what God has to offer. A scripture comes to mind, Philippians 4, 19, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. See, God sent people into our lives so his message can go forward. It's up to us to receive it. After giving my life to God, I thought I had it all together. I know we've been there. I know I'm talking to somebody out there. <laughs> See, when favor come our way, we forget where we came from yeah. and how we go on and like, I got it all together. God brought us out of a situation and situation into this marvelous light. See, the children of Israel, they battle through this as well. Generation to generation, they battle with this. God sent messengers to warn the children of Israel of their expectation of following the Ten Commandments. But how come when the children of Israel saw Moses' faces, or should I say face, glow up, and they glow, that they was afraid? How is it? It's right there in their face. Let's fast forward to our time. When signs are given to us about how to live and what God requires of us, but when the light start beaming in our face, we act like we can't handle the heat. Turn the heat down. It's so much I can take. I know someone thinking, this doesn't apply to me, but you're wrong. This message that Moses given to the Israelites this message applied to all of us that is in this world today. We all have rules that we should be governed by, that our Lord and Savior put in place for us to follow by. For the ones who have not given your life over to Christ, stop running away from behind the veil. I'm gonna say that again. Stop running away for what's behind the veil. Stop listening to the lies that's telling you, you good, you don't need that religion mess. You got a house, you got your car, little money, family, few friends, heck, even a pet. You good, right? The devil is a lie. You need to follow the rules that God put in place for all of us so that we can make it to heaven. Amen. You're wondering why you're still missing something, filling this void, 
but you're trying to replace it, this feeling. Materialistic stuff, money, yeah. fame, work, all pleasures can become gods yeah. when you yeah. concentrate too much on them for the meaning of security. Yeah. Instead of allowing God to hold the center place in your life, he is the main key to successful for coming from behind the veil. Hallelujah. Right. Ask yourself, how often do you spend time alone with God? It's time for a spending in prayer, reading the Bible, yeah. meditating. Yeah. Should, I mean, so much for us. People can see that God is in your life. Yeah. Mm, ponder on that. Yeah. I know someone thinking, I'm saved. Mm, you don't get no get out of free jail court on that. No. Right. Not today. See, the children of Israel, they thought they were safe as well because God chosen them as the chosen one. So just because God chose you and called you out doesn't mean that you get a chance to slip away. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. No. Yes, old things pass away and truly new things have come. But until we are walking in fullness of Christ, we should not assume that the process mm, is over. The title I said is Behind the Veil. We as saints is behind the scene and we we are hidden let me say that again behind the veil we as saint is hiding behind the status we think that you know this is what the uh, people expect we got it all together i hold this special title for us in a church on a committee right no look at to part no that's what we think i'm filled with the holy ghost i check all the box the boxes that's wrong no but somehow, when the message come our way through preaching, teaching, prophesizing, the apostasy, uh, the apostopher, oh my Lord have mercy, uh, apostles, apostles, when they come our way, you know, uh, we ignore it. We ignore it. But what I'm trying to tell you is that stop. Meaning that we are going to have to give up our humility, yes. Does it mean that people may know the idea wrong? Yes. If it means for you to give up your life, if it means to surrender to God, if it means for coming behind the veil, yes. The truth is, is that we want to be saved. Hallelujah. Going back to the early statement is why we can't stay in the light of truthness. This is giving a revelation as God is talking to his people. We have to be willing not to be deceived by the enemy. Whatever it takes because you don't want to you don't want these few things to happen for us being doomed to hell and also being stubborn because of the warning that was given to you. Look in the mirror. Make your mind up. Finally, there are many, but I am going to touch a tip of the iceberg, right? It's time to unmask our salvation. Stop hiding behind our salvation. For the ones who are guilty as charged, Hiding salvation is the worst thing as is hiding the cure of COVID-19. The devil is hiding. He wants, he wants us to be hiding the salvation because he is evil. But believers should share the salvation. Hallelujah. In the world, this physical life, do not hide behind your salvation that can save your uh, spiritual life. Hallelujah. Our Christianity must and spirituality must stand behind the veil, even if the mass of our nature body, or should I say our natural body. Let us not be like the Israelite, refuse to know his will. Stop listening to the devil. Mm. Want to, want to say this, stop listening to the devil. Stop playing the charade. God left us here to shine. And if we don't, who will? Have a blessed day. Amen. 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 We truly hope the words you just heard was a blessing to your soul. As the evangelist says, stop running from what's behind the veil. Allow the Lord to be the Lord of your life. If you are looking to learn more about God, come visit us. Information can be found at our website, hodchurch.com. If you would like to receive prayer or would like someone to talk to, please call 1-800-SOUL. 
I apologize, 1-800-741-SOUL or 1-800-741-7685. We look forward to seeing you next week for another inspired message and messenger. Until then, don't forget, your soul matters.